Hey, I'm Bronson from Fish River Roasters. In the last video, we talked about alternative brewing. In this one, we're gonna have a look at a particular method, the pour over. If you wanna make a pour over at home, you'll need some precision scales, a pour over kit, paper filters, a kettle, and some coffee, like these two from our Microlot program. First thing you'll wanna do is get your kettle to 91 degrees or a couple of minutes off the boil. While you're waiting for that, grind some coffee. If you're looking for a light to medium roasted coffee and you want to grind it to the consistency of raw sugar. Once that's done, put your pour over kit on top of the scale and fold your paper filter. You want to do that once and then once again. Lightly sit that in your kit and rinse it with some hot water. By rinsing, you're helping sit the paper filter in the cone without having it cause too much of a seal. Once that's finished, discard this water. We rinse the paper filter to get rid of any uh, papery tastes. Once you've done that, tear your scales and pour your coffee in. Tear your scale once again, and when you're ready, we'll start pouring the water. When you are ready to start, start the timer as you pour 50 grams of water. You wanna wait about 30 seconds, or until the uh, water stops bubbling. This is getting rid of any of the CO2 trapped in the coffee bean from roasting. After this, we're gonna pour quick pulses every 15 seconds. We're looking for about 25 grams of water every time we pour, and we wanna to get to a total weight of 250 grams. If you don't have a gooseneck kettle like this, that's all right. Just pour that water and then gently stir by shaking the cone. All right, so we've poured 250 grams of water, and now we're just letting it brew. Once the uh, timer hits three minutes, even if there is water in the top, we'll take it out. All right, three minutes is up. So remove the cone, serve, and enjoy. If you're looking for a handy guide that runs through these instructions, follow the links. Otherwise, sign up to our newsletter or follow us on social media as we uh, talk in our next video about troubleshooting your pour over.